What's up my dudes, Carter Bisbee Trippin. We're out here at the substation. We're about to put the mining rigs out there, but we needed to do a test. That test was one of the network setups that we have. We're gonna be doing 5G wireless, ultra wide, and we're gonna be doing Starlink. So we brought the Starlink out here today to give it a test. It auto aligned itself straight up, almost. It kind of tilted itself over. And then we're gonna test to see what it's actually getting. Here it is going out, little, little glare here. You guys can see there we go so pings right there on that 70 you know anywhere from 40 to 70 ping on it and it looks like we're getting about 35 to 40 megabit down and then we're going to see what the upload is here upload it does matter obviously we're going to be sending packets up there you can see a little higher ping on that uh, and so obviously this would be the backup system next to the 5G wireless. We'll be trying the 5G later this week. And we're getting about four up and we're pretty close to the substation. We're not still in the substation. This is actually going to be a little farther from the bus bars when we're out here. But as we're setting up the containers right over here and it won't be, you know, compared to where we're at right now by everything, it should be that. So. We were gonna try something cool with this, but we wanted to test first to see if this was even a thing with the Starlink out here. It is, uh, it's raining right now, so we were gonna pull out the generator and put a like L7 out here with a little Dogecoin mining next to the substation, but with the rain and having an L7 taken in the rain, it's probably not a good idea. But stay tuned for some of that. We'll also bring an S19J Pro out here, test that before we get live, make sure everything's all good to go. So just some quick content out on the site. Back at the office, sweating all day, and got the Starlink here. So just a quick one, we showed you guys it running out at the site. Essentially, this is the router that goes out, uh, gives you your IP, connects to the phone app, and then this is the dish portion that automatically goes out and finds the satellites and gets you the internet. This plugs into the bottom of this guy, if you guys haven't seen this, right under here. And then you have a power cord to power the whole unit, which powers the actual dish too, and this USB-C looking cable. It's not USB-C though, it's a different, uh, different type of cable, almost like USB-C. But that's really the unit there. We're gonna have a, another demo of it here out at BBT East with you guys uh, in the coming uh, the week. I'm gonna be doing some stuff here with it when we're gonna be configuring uh, setup with Wireshark. So what we're trying to do is optimize for the 1200 units out there at the farm uh, that we're setting up that you guys are seeing at the substation. So we wanna make sure that we have an optimal you know, configuration when it comes to the networking side. Uh, for you guys. So uh, we're going to walk through that if we're going to have to use a proxy. Well, again, we're using 5G ultra wide and the Starlink until we can get our hard line out there in place. So we want to take you guys through that process of how we're going to set up networking and configure things for, you know, those four containers. So uh, part of this solution is that Starlink. So hope you guys like this one. Like, subscribe, share. We got so much more content. I wish I could share more with you guys. So I'm obviously sweaty and nasty because of just some of the config stuff that we've been doing but i'm gonna bring some more stuff to you guys stay tuned peace